Damn, ain't no water, bro. What the hell is going on, bro? Oh, what are you doing? You're not the thing. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. And yeah guys, it is confirmed! AMD's Rockham is coming to consumer GPUs and Windows, officially. There are several reasons why Nvidia has been able to keep that market share, that huge market share compared to AMD across all these years, even when AMD GPUs were performing better and were cheaper. The main reason of that is their GPU acceleration, in this case, CUDA. And I'm telling you this because in applications that can actually take advantage of the CUDA GPU acceleration, like for example professional workloads like Blender, the AMD GPUs do not lose. They get smashed, they get obliterated. AMD's Rockham is an open software platform and is basically Nvidia CUDA's competitor. And although it has been available for quite some time for servers, it has not been available, at least officially, for the customer, the, the, the normal customer uh, GPUs that we buy, for example, the Radeon GPUs. Meaning that in any professional workloads that can actually take advantage of the CUDA acceleration, you can take advantage of that same acceleration on the NVIDIA RTX GPUs, the normal RTX GPUs that you use to game, but you cannot take advantage of the AMD's Rockham on the standard GPUs, on the standard gaming GPUs from AMD. But that's about to change. AMD Radeon Twitter account just posted, we've seen tremendous interest from developers wanting to run Rockham on Radeon and Radeon Pro GPUs for AI and machine learning workloads. And today we're excited to share that we plan to expand support to select AMD RDNA 3 consumer and workstation GPUs. So once again it is confirmed and AMD's Rockham is coming to consumer GPUs and I do believe that it comes only to RDNA 3 GPUs because of the AI acceleration and machine learning acceleration that is indeed inside the RDNA 3 architecture. Something that does not come with RDNA 2 for example, that does not have the AI acceleration course. And it seems that the first consumer RDNA 3 GPU to support Rockham on Windows officially once again is the RX 7900 XTX by this fall, and the other RDNA 3 GPUs will obviously follow. And one of the most interesting parts of the AMD's Rockham is that you can actually kind of emulate and run CUDA. So professional software that uses CUDA acceleration, like for example Blender, will run much, but much better on the AMD cards, since they can actually emulate and run the CUDA acceleration on the AMD cards as well. And for that they use HIP, which can be used as kind of a translation layer that can be used to run CUDA on AMD GPUs without really without much effort, meaning that the developers can make indeed their software run on AMD GPUs even though they only optimize for CUDA. They can just do a translation layer and you're good to go. And just to conclude, this might not look as something that, that's actually relevant, but believe me, it is very re relevant because if AMD starts and keeps doing uh, support and keeps showing support for AMD's Rockham on Windows on the consumer level GPUs, well, Nvidia's reign in terms of professional workloads might actually come to an end, or at least their market share might actually uh, diminish, gets diminished by the AMD GPUs in the professional workloads. Because one of the things that kept people from buying AMD GPUs when it comes to professional workloads was indeed the lack of CUDA or a CUDA's competitor, meaning that Nvidia GPUs in the same price bracket would be much faster in professional workloads like Blender than the AMD counterparts, meaning that people will obviously, people living out of those professional workloads would obviously go for Nvidia instead of AMD. But once again, it seems that that's about to change, at least with the RDNA 3 GPUs. And well guys, that's all for today's video, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video at that, as that really helps a lot. Thank you very much for watching and leave your comment in the comment section, let me know what you think about AMD's Rockham on Windows, the official, uh, the official support at least, uh, and if you think that 
that may actually change a bit the market share uh, in relation to what it is right now, something like, let's say, 80-20 or 85-15. Just let me know because I do really think that Across, across the time, it might actually change the market share and, and AMD can actually get some more market share from NVIDIA, at least in this department, as their GPUs run pretty bad right now in some professional workloads. And with AMD's Rockham and HIP actually emulating the CUDA acceleration, people might actually consider buying AMD GPUs for most professional workloads, which is actually an interesting scenario. Thanks a lot once again and see you in the next video.